What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So the CX-9 just got released today. I was able to jump in a private match really quickly with a bunch of people on stream. Uh, I stream at twitch.tv slash truegamedatalive. So I tweeted out and had everybody come join me in the private match so we could test the CX-9. Um, I am away from home right now, so I'm on my laptop. So the ADS number is not going to be as accurate as normal. Uh, movement speed numbers aren't going to be as accurate as normal. They'll still be really accurate. Um, especially movement speed stuff because there's so many frames between when you start measuring when you end measuring that it doesn't actually matter too much for movement speed num numbers uh, if you're on high frame rate or not. But ADS time is such a short amount of time uh, that it matters a lot more how many FPS you're getting. And I'm only getting about 80 on my laptop. So uh, ADS number is going to be a little bit inaccurate, but I'll retest that when I get home. I did multiple tests and took an average though, so I should have a pretty good number. Uh, movement speeds will be good. TTK numbers will be really good. Uh, we're going to cover everything in this video. As always, if you guys like the content, consider dropping a sub, comment, and like. That really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and helps the website stay up to date. Uh, make sure you turn those notifications on as well for the subscriptions. That's something I don't ever mention, but uh, my notification percentage is really, really low. So if you guys want to get notified when I go uh, live with a video, just be sure you hit that little bell icon and turn notifications on. But let's jump into it here. Uh, we're going to start with just base stats for the CX-9 compared to uh, like the Mac 10 Modern Warfare MP5. All right, so like I said, this is going to be a very preliminary overview of the stats of the new CX-9. Uh, I don't have everything super accurate net yet. That'll be all updated uh, when I get home, which will be on the 6th, so in a few days. Um, but for the most part, the numbers should be pretty accurate still. So I've got the Modern Warfare MP5 Mac 10, the old CX-9. So if you remember, there was a blueprint CX-9 that dropped uh, in Plunder and Warzone for a while. I actually was able to measure all those stats in, uh, in the Plunder matches back in the day when they had that on Floor Loot. Um, so I've included that just for comparison's sake, uh, as well as the new CX-9 that I tested today. So uh, ADS times, uh, like I said, ADS times not going to be super accurate right now because I only tested at 80 FPS, but I did multiple tests and it always came out between 167 milliseconds and 185 milliseconds. And one time it was exactly 175. Um, so I think the ADS is going to be right around this number within plus or minus probably like 10 milliseconds or so. Um, sprint divider times, I'm assuming I didn't actually test this yet. Again, I'll test that when I get home. But pretty much every SMG has a default sprint to fire time. I actually put these backwards when I was inputting them into the system, but it should be 117 sprint to fire, just like the MP5, and 217 for a tactical sprint to fire. Obviously, I'll retest that and make sure. Uh, movement speed. So base movement speed is actually really good on the CX-9. Uh, it ties the Modern Warfare MP5 at 4.98, which is really close. I mean, that's only like a few percent behind the Mac 10 which is the fastest gun in the game, at 5.08. Um, yeah, CX-9 has exactly the same, 4.98 meters per second as the mp5 ads movement speed is fantastic on the cx9 and match the uh, mac 10 at 3.35 meters per second which is actually quite a bit faster than the modern warfare mp5 um, mobility stats for the modern warfare guns are a little bit worse in general than the cold war guns but really it's the attachments that kill the modern warfare guns more than anything um, so once we get the full attachment stats we'll have a much better idea of what a real meta build mobility will be like compared to the base gun. So from base gun stats, it looks great. It looks like it has fantastic mobility, uh, but we'll have to wait and see with actual attachments how that compares. I didn't measure hip fire, but again, pretty much all the SMGs have the same hip fire radius. So I'm pretty sure the hip fire area will be the same as the Modern Warfare MP5. That's been standard since day one of Warzone. Um, I don't doubt that it'll be the same there. I just haven't measured it yet. Bullet velocity. I didn't actually measure this, but I did take some shots and it appeared to be pretty slow. Uh, I'd say somewhere between 350 and 500. I'll get the exact number when I get back to uh, back to San Diego. Um, but for now, just an estimate, 350. It looked about like 350 to me, uh, which is pretty standard for what they've done for all the new SMGs. So I'm guessing it'll be around that. Reload time, it has a fantastic reload time. So the Modern Warfare MP5 has a really, really slow reload time at 2.8 seconds. Uh, but the CX-9 was down slightly under 2 seconds. Uh, so really, really quickly let reload. The default mag size, mag size is 20. Um, you can get up to a 50 round mag. Um, so looking at the fire rate of 1036 RPM, that's about 100 RPM less than the MAC-10. The MAC-10 gets a 53 round mag. Uh, and the damage per mag of the MAC-10 is pretty low. Uh, we'll cover damage per mag in this video as well because I, I know the max mag size of the CX-9 at 50. Um, so we can talk about that. As far as damage profile, um, so they did change the damage profile from when it was originally floor loot to now, which makes sense because they did that big weapon rework just like a month ago. Um, so the old CX-9 did 36 to the head, 25 chest, 25 stomach, 22 extremities. Now it does 33 head, 
24 chest, 24 stomach, 21 extremities in the first drop off. The second drop off was uh, was well, I guess I don't know because the original old CX9 stats were stats with attachments because it was a floor loop gun with attachments on it. So with that build, it was 18 meters for the first drop off. The new no attachment CX-9 that was just released was 13 meters, so it's probably actually about the same. Uh, and that 18 was probably because of the attachments, so we don't, we just won't know that. Um, so the old second drop off was oh, this is messing up. The old the old CX-9, I believe the second drop off was this 31, 22, 22, 19, um, and now the second drop off is 22, 19, 19, 17. Um, but let's just go look at how this compares on the TTK charts. So on the TTK charts, we have cyan is the old CX-9, green is the new CX-9, uh, the magenta pink color is the MAC-10, including open bolt delay, and the orange is the Modern Warfare MP5. So Modern Warfare MP5 is kind of like the fastest killing SMG right now besides the OTS. Uh, the Cold War MP5 got that nerf in the last patch, so it's a little bit slower than the Modern Warfare MP5 now. Uh, but you can see the old CX-9 had a much longer damage range than the MP5 and uh, had better TTKs on the chest. So this is 250 health chest shots. The new CX-9, the green line, is dramatically slower. It's up by the MAC-10 when you include the open bolt delay for the MAC-10. Out at range, the CX-9 has better TTKs than the MAC-10. Uh, but if you turn off open bolt delay, we know open bolt delay doesn't always matter. Uh, the CX-9 is quite a bit slower than even the MAC-10 in that case. So uh, not great as far as TTKs go, but I can tell you from... Uh, just anecdotally using it a little bit. It has a very, very good recoil, so it might end up being a really good like sniper support SMG, a lot like the Milano. Again, we'll have to get all the information for that, but uh, we will see. So 250 health, I just switched it to extremities instead of chest. Um, now you can see the old CX-9 and the new CX-9 both have really good TTKs, actually. The green line is, is quite a bit faster than the MAC-10, only a little bit slower than the Modern Warfare MP5. Uh, it has a much higher fire rate, so it's more forgiving than the Modern Warfare MP5. Uh, and the mobility numbers are very, very good. So I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it fits in once we have the full picture of everything with attachments. But I think the attachments are going to end up slowing it down a lot, unfortunately, because they're the Modern Warfare attachments. Um, so we'll see how it, fix, it fits in against things like the OTS. I think the OTS is going to be kind of hard to beat in a similar role. They feel like really similar guns to me in, as far as how they work. Um, obviously, the... Uh, the CX-9 has a bigger mag, but faster fire rate. So let's jump over and look at the damage per mag numbers and compare those to the uh, the OTS, the Modern Warfare MP5, MAC-10, etc. All right, so taking a quick look here at damage per mag. This is the same comparison table I used in my most recent video where I was trying to convince people to use the OTS because I think the OTS is super good. So from 0 to 13 meters, the CX-9 is on here now with the 50 round mag. Um, it does 1650 to the head, 1200 to the chest, 1200 to the stomach, 1050 to the extremities for a weighted average of 1253 for my 20% headshot, 30% chest, 25 extremities, 25 uh, stomach. So you can see that's a little bit less than the OTS. It does have four extra meters of range. It's a little bit shorter than the MAC-10 and it does a little bit more damage per mag than the MAC-10 uh, with that 50 round mag, but just, just a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, 30 damage is basically like one shot. Um, so you can consider it a lot like the MAC-10. I think it's really going to feel like that. Uh, it just doesn't have the open bolt delay, and it has better TTKs on extremity shots than the MAC-10, but it's going to be, it's a little bit faster if you include the open bolt delay on chest shots uh, and stomach shots than the MAC-10, but if you don't include open bolt delay, which doesn't always matter, the MAC-10 does take over again over the CX-9. So I don't think it's like an OP crazy good weapon. We'll see. Uh, once we actually start using it, I do think it'll feel good. It's going to feel a lot like the MAC-10. The MAC-10 is super popular among pros and everybody just because it's super easy to use. Uh, it has such a high fire rate that the recoil feels like nothing. Like the higher the fire rate, the the smaller the jumps are between each shot in terms of recoil. And that makes it feel much easier to control and reduces the visual recoil. So I think I think it will feel good. We'll have to get the full picture once we get the the all the attachment stats and everything. It is a Modern Warfare gun, so that's something I should note. It has Modern Warfare attachments, um, so it's going to get slowed down a lot, but we'll see. It is a, it's a fun gun to use. It has a great fire rate, and it's really accurate, so uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Just wanted to get you guys a base overview of the OTS-9, or the CX-9. It is up on the website now, so you can go check it out. Uh, I left the old CX-9 on there. It's labeled old CX-9, so the new one's on there. The old one's on there. 
Um, you can check it out and compare it to guns yourself. Uh, as always, if you like the website, if you like what we're doing, consider you know commenting, liking, subscribing. If you don't like the video, dislike. Uh, that's fine too. It tells us we need to change what we're doing. Um, but as always, we appreciate you guys and we will see you in the next video.